Good morning and welcome to The Real Outdoors where we talk about camping, hiking, and hunting. Today, I'm going to take a first look at a new pair of binoculars I got for my hunting adventures, the Redfield Rebel 10x42 binoculars. Now, I've tried a lot of binoculars over the years. I've always bought like cheaper versions, which I know is a dumb thing to do. Good glass costs money. It's just how it works. But I really feel like the Redfield is an exception. And we'll get to that, but let's talk about what I've used in the past. Now, I've used Nikons. They're pretty good. I'm not unhappy with them, but the ones that I've used are in the three to $400 range, sometimes 250, something like that. It's just more than I want to spend for binoculars that I'm going to use once, maybe twice a year on certain hunting trips. So I've gone with cheaper versions. I've checked out loopholes, which are fairly expensive also for me. I've looked at Vortex. They seem very nice and reasonably priced, but we're just going to talk about the ones that I've actually used for myself in the past and then compare those to the new Redfields that I just got. First pair, this is Pursuit is the brand. It's basically a store brand from Bass Pro Shops or Cabela's. They work fine. I like the camouflage pattern on them. But of course, it's a Bass Pro Cabela's brand. It's not something I can go out and send in for service or get replacement parts. And that's one of the problems I had is these little eye cups fall off. This one too. See, they come off real easily. And getting replacements is just next to impossible. This is actually a replacement for the other pair that I'm gonna talk about from Bushnell. And it works okay, but it's not the right eye cup for these binoculars. But honestly, especially now having the red fields, looking through these, it's kind of like looking through a pane of glass that you just can't quite get clean. A little foggy, a little distorted, not a real clear image through these binoculars. But they worked fine. They did the job. It's just when the deer were out there quite a ways, you know, 80, 100 yards, it was hard to pick out detail and figure out, is that a three point, a four point, an eight point? Is it a spike? Am I gonna shoot a button buck instead of a doe like I think I am? You know, you run into problems like that when you don't have good glass to actually see. I'm not hunting out west looking for elk or mule deer from really far distances. I couldn't convince myself to spend the money on decent binoculars when I'm looking at maybe 100, 125 yards maximum on the hunts that I do, but it still just wasn't that clear. And they fogged up real easily. And like I said, not a whole lot of support. It's basically a generic store brand. So there's not a lot of support behind that. The next pair I got was this pair of Bushnells. This is the Bear Grylls 10 by 42 Bushnells. I don't even think they make these anymore. They make something similar. Uh, I'll put a link down in the description if you want to check them out. These actually worked fairly well. Uh, I'm happy with them. They're tough. But at some point, not only did I lose the eye cup, but I lost the piece that allows the eye cup to spin up like this. So you can see I'm missing the eye cup on this side, but I'm also missing the piece that spins the eye cup out. So now these are basically useless. Maybe as a single lens to see through, you know, just on the one side. They really don't do me a whole lot of good at this point. Um, I tried to order this piece. Uh, they didn't have just that piece. They have just the eye cups, but they don't have that spinning piece that the eye cup attaches to. I'm not even sure where I lost it. I only use them for hunting and it just disappeared on my way back from Texas one time. When I pulled it out of the bag, it wasn't there. It wasn't in the cabin in Texas. It wasn't in my truck. It wasn't in the bin where I keep my hunting gear. I don't know what happened to it. I don't know where it broke off. I used it the entire hunting trip in Texas and it just disappeared. All that being said, even though I did like these, they're really good at not fogging up. I did like that. But now that I have the red fields comparing the two, these also have that foggy window appearance. It's just not a crystal clear image the way it should be from good binoculars. And so, and now this is my Horn Hunter 
binocular case. I absolutely love this thing. I will put a link down in the description. I've talked about it before in my hunting pack EDC, which I'll put a link up in the eye in the sky. This thing is awesome. It has a place for your rangefinder, has a place for your binoculars, has a little pouch back here. I usually put my phone there because it's nice and easy to just slip in there. Very well thought out with the attachments. It's really quiet the way it works. Lots of magnets and strings rather than you know buttons and snaps that make a lot of noise. But this is where I keep my binoculars. And these are the red fields. You can see it comes with all the normal stuff, the little caps for the top and bottom, which I like that it has an attachment point for my Horn Hunter pack, because now I get to keep these. Whereas you can tell, I don't have them for my Bushnells anymore because they were just single caps for each eye cup and they just disappeared. But now I've got them attached here. These are attached really well up here on the front lens. Uh, they'll slide off, but nothing like any binoculars I've used before. Now, one of the things I really love about these Redfields, these are actually made by Leupold, which is a pretty good brand. You know, puts you right in the middle of the road, but they cost about half as much. So I was looking at some Leupolds when I decided I really needed some good binoculars. And the 10 by 42 Leupold that I was looking at was right around $220, $250, depending on where you're buying it. These were $128 on Amazon, and I've even, even seen them on sale for $99. But it just has the Redfield name on it instead of Leupold. And I have to tell you, they are just as clear as the Leupold binoculars. They, I mean, you look through these and it is like nothing is in between you. No window, none of that fogginess, nothing. I mean, it is crystal clear. I just, I absolutely love them. I, I can't tell you the difference. Now that I have these and compare them to the last two that I had, I don't know how I saw anything before. These are unbelievable. They are really good. Now, I am still going to have the concern about these eye cups. They feel attached pretty well. I mean, the other ones you could kind of feel that they weren't real tight on there. But there's a, that's a even the clicking and the rotating them out is a much more solid build, you can just feel when you use it, than the Bushnells or the, the Bass Pro Shops brand. Pretty typical 10 by 42 binoculars, you know, has the focus adjustment here and the fine focus here on your right lens. Has the eye cups that rotate out, so for glasses you keep them down. I wear contacts, or if you don't wear glasses you can rotate them out and it gives you that shade and brings them right up to your eyes so you're not getting any interference from the periphery. I really like this. They have very distinct places for you to put your thumbs when you're holding them. So you know that you're holding them in the correct position. And then of course you have the adjustment for your eye distance between your eyes. Like I say, this is a first look. I've used them on one hunting trip. I really wanted them for my Texas hunting trip coming up in a few weeks and I can't wait to use them out there. I always have problems distinguishing certain details on deer when I'm hunting in Texas, I really don't think I'm going to have an issue with these because they are crystal clear. And for 120 bucks, you cannot go wrong. I, I Like I say, I'm stunned with how clear these are. I wish I'd done this sooner and gotten good binoculars. And they're made by a reputable company that I know is going to stand behind their product. I've had lots of loophole scopes. I love their scopes. And I just have a lot of confidence in these binoculars. As I said, I looked at a few others. I looked at Vortex, I looked at Nikon also. Both real good brands. No real reason that I went away from those or to the loophole. Really the main reason I went with the Redfield was due to price. You basically got the quality of a $250 to $300 pair of binoculars for $120. So that's, that's my thoughts on it. I will definitely update you after my trip to Texas and let you know how they worked out, how they stood up to use for over a week. And uh, I'm, I have high expectations. I think they're gonna work out really well. I'd love to hear more about what you use for your binoculars in the field on your hunting trips. You know, like I said, I did a lot of research, but maybe there's something I missed. Maybe there was a brand out there also that I could recommend or try out. Like I say, I'm very happy with these. I have all, every intention of using them for the years to come. And uh, 
maybe you got something out of this. I thought it was a great find to find a brand that is made by a reputable brand that is high quality for not a lot of money. Hopefully that helps you find a good pair of binoculars for your trips. I look forward to seeing you in the real outdoors. Mm -hmm.